as we submit ourselves to a few minutes of prayer please don't be distracted it is part of the service pray from the depth of your heart any distraction must be seen as an evil spirit trying to rob you of your portion tonight hallelujah so you pray with fervency you pray with all your heart lift your voice and say father, father. shout it again say father, father. in the name of jesus yes. i decree and i declare yes. that everything you have for me i receive tonight go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding pray with power fire passion shake parasco brande ge balaka to se fresia shada bega de balaka prakata baranda ka sabra de ge de belegata everything you have the healing everything you have the impartation the open doors direction illumination i receive tonight by your spirit someone pray Seka parakatos kale brenda ke bereketos Sati bakata parakos shabranda ke belekes Skies of Azasika Paranda Shavra Sebelekatas Empra Taka Parakata Fraskata Balakata Prenda Gebelekeska Preta Gebelekatosh. Those following from across the globe, pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you. Receive by faith. The Bible says, Now there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Shataka parakas kabata katabeleka to fraska paranda kap. Shalige bereka te paranda skaprake belashiasa. Prakata paranda kapreka te beleka tos. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ that plane in the spirit a portion for me a portion for my destiny a portion for my family I step into it by faith someone is praying seriously someone is praying without destruction hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord the bible says the word of god is quick and powerful it's only his process and his dealings that is slow his word is quick and powerful that is our next prayer point you're going to cry lord do a quick walk it didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth recreate my life tonight do a quick walk lift your voice and begin to cry a quick walk a quick walk a quick walk shake up a rakatoska brand do a quick walk someone pray do a quick walk in my ministry a quick walk in my life a quick walk in my destiny when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the Living God. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. 
This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing. All that see my prophetic word. All that see God locate me will laugh with me. Go ahead and pray. Shake a parakatoski at about. Sabranda Gaberekos, Alacros Gaberekos. All that here will laugh with me. All that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point. You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory, even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up, please. In the court of law, when a verdict is given and it is against you, and you feel that justice was not meted out, there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah 
He said, pack up your load. He said, God Almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man, put your house together, you will not recover. Hezekiah said, I respect you prophet, you leave. He turned his face, knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. That in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause, manifesting as negative patterns. Let the mercy of God overrun and overturn. Open your mouth and pray. Let mercy, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ill speakings of darkness, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ordinances of judgment be changed. Let it be overrun, let it be overturned. Koinonia, pray. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over curses. Mercy over ill speakings. That even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight. In the name of Jesus hallelujah we are still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 hmm. and God remembered Noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged verse 2 he says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time God remembered that there was still a man if this rain continues even the man I'm trying to preserve that evil will eventually destroy him there is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve while it was rising God remembered for the sake of Noah I have to stop this flood now you are going to pray there are certain evils that have prevailed but now that you have come you are going to say Lord remember that I am your son remember that I am your daughter the Bible said which of you whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish 
for, and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember noah remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the lord remembered koinonia and the lord remembered your business and the lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when john the apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that will follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said God himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can I tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of God and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah. evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light, which of you, whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone, or will ask him for meat, fish, and will give him a serpent? And God remembered Noah. And God remembered Noah. There are men who can forget. And it is a terrible thing when people forget about you. I have taught you here, one man, forgetting joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting mordecai left him at the gate for only god knows how long but the bible says that night could not king ahazaro sleep and he said bring me the chronicles we are still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them, but the Spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance. That includes your destiny helper. He can bring to remembrance that you said in January, this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power. What has stopped you from acting? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There was a very interesting story in the Bible. It's the story of the fig tree. The Bible says that it was not even yet time for figs. And Jesus was hungry. And he saw a fig tree, green, very inviting. And he went there hoping to get figs. And the Bible says not finding figs, he cursed it and said, no man eat of you again. And by the next day, when they came there, the Bible says they saw that it had withered. You're going to pray. It is dangerous to not bear fruit. John 15 and verse 8. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Fruit here talks of results. It matters that you produce results. Can I tell you, the world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit. You bear fruit in ministry, you bear fruit in business, you bear, there are many fruitless Christians. They are born again, they are saved, but there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations. Don't expect people to come and rally around you. Don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for if you do not bear fruit. You are going to cry. The spirit that is responsible, listen, listen, listen. 
I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful especially fruits like garden egg and then you give it a bite only to find worms inside has that happened to you that you see a beauty it doesn't look bad doesn't look um, you know decayed looking very inviting and then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within immediately what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin you're going to pray everything fighting fruitfulness in my life in whatever manner I curse it tonight by the God of heaven go ahead and pray everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry fruitfulness in destiny fruitfulness in career I curse it by the Spirit of the Living God. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Shalika pas kebrande kebereka tosiata. Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Helakosa kreska berekatosia tabarandas. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7.
But when you pray, it says, use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, when you pray, pray in this manner. Go ahead. Our father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Now, verse 11, shout it with all your heart. Give us this day. One more time. Give us this day. If God said this day, may your lack of faith not make it this month. May your lack of faith not make it next year. Listen. He said, give us this day our There is something called daily bread. Daily bread. Bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour. It means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day. God is that meticulous. He's that, you already said you, he, you called him father. That means for every day of your life, the moment you are waking up, the angels are positioned. They have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there. But I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house, you may not receive it. We are going to pray this prayer. Give it to us again. Verse 11, give me this day my daily bread. Lord, by faith and with every sense of gratitude, I cry. Give my family this day. Give my ministry this day. Open your mouth and pray. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer. Lord, give me this day. Send me help from Zion this day. All that it takes for my efficiency. Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give me this day. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. John 10.10 10, The thief cometh not, but for to steal. Look at this. And to kill and to destroy. This is Satan's assignment. When it comes to your life, he will steal, he will kill and he will destroy. The same way God schedules men to give you opportunities. Satan is a robber. Ladies and gentlemen, let me list for you a few things that he steals. He steals years. He steals destinies. He steals relationships. He steals resources. He steals your convictions. He steals your discernment. Like I taught you two weeks ago, he steals your ability to see. There are thieves that when they come to your house, is your money direct money they don't have the time to carry rice to carry beans to carry yam that's not part of what they are looking for they need something they can take immediately not satan when satan steps into a life he does not even spare anything your joy he will take your peace he will take your relationships he will take how do you know satan has visited a man please listen to me because there will always be perpetual depletion decline pain, losses, tragedies. Satan for you. You see a man of God who was vibrant, on fire, loving Jesus, commanding signs and wonders. And with all due respect, years later, no vibrancy, no fire is all gone. Where is your influence? He stole it. Your reputation? He stole it. Your integrity is gone. The name God gave you is gone. 
Listen, if you let Satan, he will destroy you. My assignment tonight is not just to announce this. There are some prayers who are going to pray in this place that everything Satan has stolen in the name that is above all names, I'm praying for you, it must be restored this night. Not next week, it must be restored this night. There are people, some of them listening to me now, once upon a time, you could build a house for people without thinking twice. Today, you can plead for 20,000 naira. Your brain did not disappear. Satan visited you. Once great, once blessed, once anointed, once upon a time, with all due respect, around the world, there are many vibrant people who used to serve the Lord with energy. If you hear that they are coming to town or you hear that they are coming to a nation, I mean, you just have to pray that you are even able to reach there. But today they call on a nation and nobody answers. Can I tell you, the worst thing that can happen to a man is to once be in a position where God places you and then in your lifetime and also in the presence of those you raised, you go down. I forbid it over your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of your parents, some of our parents, in their lifetime, they were blessed, they loved Jesus, they had influence. Some of you saw people line up in your houses just to see your parents. But in old age, they are alone. Everybody, you had to change your surname because if you still use that name, it may program failure for you. Come on now, Satan for you. And don't let Satan lie to you taking advantage of age. You are not the first person to be old. Refuse that thing that the older you are getting, the more you should deteriorate. I don't know about you, but I choose to reject it. No, as my days are, so shall my strength be. This is what my Bible teaches me. If you don't believe this, you will get into trouble. One day you will wake up, a young man, 30, 40 years, you stand up as if you are 80 years. Reject that spirit. It's like a part of me does not want to get up. No, everything God gave me must obey me. Everything. If it's part of my body must obey me. I wake up in the morning, my head you must wake up. My heart you wake up too. My respiratory system you must wake up. Speak to your body in one minute. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I challenge every health condition. You bow to the name of Jesus. My eyes will see till my days are done. My feet will walk till my days are done. My hands will reach till my days are done. Go ahead, take a minute and speak. No weakness, no limitation, strength in my body. I cause cancer. I cause fibroid. I cause prostate cancer. I cause eye condition, cataract, glaucoma. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Oh. Oh. The prophetic controls restoration. The prophetic controls redemption. The prophetic controls deliverance. When it is administered within the boundary of scripture, it works wonders. There are some of you, you have cried unto the Lord in secret, but this deliverance will not come through your own prayers. No, but I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer. 
in partnership with the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. In one minute, right where you are, I'd like you to begin to pray. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Is a businessman praying? Is a man of God who has lost his glory, lost the grace and the favor? Parash kateba lakasiata, egra katapa 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 rakatos, skata prakata belagata pras kata belagata bakata. And I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer. And I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Christ Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Let the doors open again, oh God. Let the favor come again. Let my honor return again. Let my hair grow back again. Let shame and reproach leave my destiny. Let the statement Ichabod give way. Go ahead and pray. Please, Koinonia, pray. Where is that grace that was once upon me that I never had to beg for jobs? Let it return, oh God. Restore, 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 redeem, deliver. Deliver by the Spirit. The Lord will rescue us from every evil attack, the Bible says, and to bring us safely to his heavenly kingdom. Prodigal son, your father is still alive. There is still hope for the signet ring to return to your hands. Someone pray. You can pray for your loved ones. We give you worship. Worship the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship the deepest praise to the King. Muima Kasujada.
by the arm of flesh I cannot prevail one more minute you are pouring your heart before Jesus the deliverer the helper the restorer the redeemer his arms are not too short that it cannot save his ears are not too dull that he cannot hear your iniquity has brought a separation between you and him pray the prayer of the prodigal son for someone you need to pray the prayer of Jonah for someone you need to pray the prayer of Hezekiah the prayer of Hezekiah only the living can praise you the dead cannot praise you the weak cannot praise you the defeated cannot praise you arise for your name's sake in my life hallelujah 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 every once and again in scripture you will read a very comforting rendition after tragedies and the Lord remembered and the Lord remembered Sarah and the Lord remembered Hannah and the Lord remembered Rachel and the Lord remembered Leah and the Lord remembered Joshua Selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia In one minute before I speak over your life, I want you to mention the areas where deliverance must come for you now. Please mention it before God. Some of you, you have lost your honor. You have lost your reputation. You have lost your integrity. Cry restore. Some of you, you have lost the capacity, that grace for wealth. Some of you, you have lost certain dimensions of the operations of the spirit. Some of you, you have lost the gift of man. Go ahead and pray. Restore, restore, restore. What's that our song on restoration? Take it high for me. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore you will restore. One more time. Please. Restore. Hallelujah. I want you to receive the prophetic word now. 
when God sends us we come in the name of the Lord restore everything that was lost restore everything that was stolen restore the honor that was lost restore you will restore restore everything that was lost restore my god everything that was stolen restore everything that was lost restore Come, play the saxophone for me. Go ahead. I want to prophesy. twice huh go ahead and play once I'm just walking by the spirit and when that happens I'm going to begin to speak go ahead Jesus Christ let me start with those who have lost things you have lost things in the name that is above all names I'm praying now here at Koinonia by the power that raised Christ from the dead from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada across Africa Koinonia global and indeed the body of Christ I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I decree and declare let there be a restoration now 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 let there be a restoration now. Let there be a restoration now. Let there be a restoration now. Tragic events that don't have an explanation from losses, financial depletions, the death of loved ones, the loss of relationships, closed doors in the name of Jesus. The spirit that is behind it, I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I decree and declare that spirit gives way now. That spirit gives way now. That spirit gives way now. Every 
mark upon your head. You may not see it, but it keeps calling tragedies to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I wipe that mark from your face now. I wipe that mark from your destiny now. Hear me. Everyone you have lost favor with, lost touch with, in this place tonight, by the mercy of God, I command restoration. I command reconnection. I command restoration. I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble. I've owed people before. I know what it means. The, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable i pray for you the same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised christ from the dead before the end of 2023 come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraint were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up i pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when god wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow i pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now everyone here who is under any curse any diabolic manifestation the scourging tongues of men according to Job chapter 5 one of the six things that he says God would deliver us from anyone who is a victim of that I pray for you here at Koinonia in the name of Jesus be delivered from any and all evil be delivered from any and all evil now hear me some of you perhaps what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help I stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of God you ignored maybe somebody that you caused pain in their life in their family I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life where they said you will die i prophesy leave where they said you will fail i prophesy go and excel 
where they said your children would do the same negative thing. I midwife by prophecy. May your children be Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. That out of their pain, they said it will never be well with you. I call upon the God of mercy because today you are the righteous. I say to you, it shall be well. Hezekiah, where Isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death, I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as an able minister of the New Testament and I pray for you. Live long and fulfill your days. Live long and fulfill your days. Let me prophesy to Ruth. You've lost your husband, lost your children. And you have said, do not call me all that name. Call me Mara. It is bitter. Call me all of that. And Naomi has tried to comfort you. Oh Ruth, hear the word of the Lord. There is still the second phase of your life. You are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest. But in the name of Jesus, I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon. From tonight, go in this your might. Hallelujah. You may be like Mary and Martha. Martha said if you had come earlier, he would, have, he would not have died. But I like what she said. Even now, even now, even now. It didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, even now, November, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. The final prophetic declaration please hear me every grace that god has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life i release my faith one more time in the name of jesus perhaps through dishonor perhaps through carelessness lack of discernment all of these things that i mentioned you are not having it work in your life i agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith i declare may this grace rest on your life May this grace rest on your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. When Sarah bore Isaac, she named him Laughter. And she said that God has made me to laugh. And all who hear me will laugh with me. I decree and declare by this prophetic word, let crying, mourning, weeping come to an end. Because the Bible says, weeping may endure for the night, but it says joy comes with the morning. And the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night. That means when light comes, it is your day. Now that light has come, I command the night to cease. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In one minute, I'd like you to use your mouth this morning as a weapon of creation. Open your mouth and begin to create realities about your life. Don't, don't mind what the devil brings to you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I may have been born poor, but in the name of Jesus, I am rising to a level of kingdom wealth, a level of blessings, a level of grace. I decree and declare as a man of God that I cannot be ignored. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The grace of God is at work in my life. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I decree and declare that I have a goodly heritage. Gentiles come to my light and they are kings to the brightness of my rising. For my shame I receive double. Lift up your voice and pray. Declare Shalakatosaria. Lagos yields his increase for me. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is at work in me. I'm a possessor of true riches, spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. No more fear. No more fear. No more fear. My
my background notwithstanding no more fear my current limitations notwithstanding no more fear my path is as a shining light that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day let the redeemed of the lord say so let the blessed of the lord say so let the lifted of the lord say so let the anointed of the lord say so i am beulah i am hepzibah a well watered garden the planting of the lord the oak of righteousness that he is glorified in my life hallelujah hallelujah the next prayer point i like you to pray with all your heart listen listen you are going to decree and declare that every spiritual blessing you see they are in dimensions are we together now just wait we have a teaching series that will come up through riches and when when is that please try to look for it download it and listen to it or when your pastor does any teaching that relates to this listen to it with all your heart listen we're going to pray true riches is not just generic it can manifest on earth as different things true riches can come as wisdom is true riches it can come as favor it can come as the anointing there are seven of them in all that the bible calls together spiritual blessings are we together now hmm. worthy is the lamb that was slain he says to receive and he begins to mention all of these things you are going to pray the dimension of grace that must come on your life and cause your physical environment to change lift your voice and provoke it lord i am in christ i am in christ something needs to happen to my finances i'm a tither i'm a giver i'm productive but i need that manifestation of the spiritual blessings pray You are a pastor, pray. Lord, I need the anointing, fresh anointing upon my life for signs and wonders, for miracles. The anointing that births breakthroughs in the lives of people. of families please pray oh when it's time to pray it's a few minutes but pray are we together they are the ones who study all the graduates five people the only person that graduates they now kill him and you will think it's a mistake the gatekeepers but tonight ha, rise up on your feet let's pray let's pray let's pray let's pray And the seed of the woman 
Shake up a kata. Shake a tekete. Leke paroka. Shabaratis. Hallelujah. Listen, the watchers, they make sure that the ordinances spoken over territories remain so. So they declare over this territory, no woman marries a good man. Why? Because a good man with her will produce a good child. And that child can be an evangelist that will change that land. So they are watchers. The moment, how many of you have seen that somebody just says, I love you, something happens. It's like a report sent in the spirit immediately and something happens immediately i want to give you a job and all of a sudden the watchers lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command the sword of vengeance. The sword of vengeance upon every entity. Upon every entity manipulating my destiny. Manipulating my destiny. Manipulating my family. Lift your voice and pray. I tell you something is shifting in the spirit. I know Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I prophesy over my territory. Over my territory. Over my family. Over my family. Over my loved ones. Over my loved ones. Every gatekeeper. Every gatekeeper. Holding the keys. Holding the keys. To their next level. To their next level. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command the gates open now. I command Shut up, 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 shut up
Alléluia. Pray this prayer with understanding and see what happens to your life. Listen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every seed. Every seed. In me, in me, that is not of Christ, that is not of Christ. I speak to you. I speak to you. Your time is up. Your time is up. Leave my body now. Leave my body Hallelujah. My God. Fire is born. Fire is born. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant. Every covenant. Over my life. Over my life. Every covenant, every covenant over my family, over my family, every covenant, every covenant over my loved one, over my loved one that is not of Christ, that is not of Christ, and is bringing us failure, and is bringing us failure, is bringing us pain, is bringing us pain, is bringing us defeat, and is bringing us defeat by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I shatter those altars. We are going to pray. Listen. Just pray what I tell you. Whether you understand what I'm saying or not. The Lord just showed me something now and we are going to pray. Are we together? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every door. Every door. That has given Satan access. That has given Satan access. To visit me. To visit me. In dreams. In dreams. And encounters. And encounters. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That door is closed now. That door is closed Every secret, I'm hearing in my dream. 
Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come out from the right spot. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. They are not humans. They are watchers. Yeah. Say in the name of Jesus. In, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every stranger. Every stranger. Oppressing me at night. Oppressing me at night. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break your hold over my life. I break your hold of my and pray. Hallelujah. Just two more prayers and we are done tonight. Listen. Mm. One of the greatest areas, hear me, fire is burning in this place. I tell you. One of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home. You can preach to others. You can be holding crusades, raising wheelchairs. But if that gospel nears your compound, here they come. They are watchers. You can preach to anyone else, sing to anyone else. But if that thing comes near your compound, are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus. In, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus I declare. I, I declare, declare that the gospel, that the gospel, gospel of, salvation, of salvation, of salvation, of healing, of healing, of restoration, of restoration, reaches all my loved ones. Reaches all my loved ones right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. This last prayer point, even if you have not prayed anything tonight, I'm going to give you a few minutes to really pray. Are we together? Aside from the gospel, the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family life. Listen to me. If they cannot stop you from settling down, they stop fruitfulness or they plant something in your child you give birth to a child who becomes something else it's not normal we are going to pray listen every sister here when it's time to pray lay your hands on your womb listen i'm blasting tongues and pray i will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit lift your voice and pray <laughs> We will not put the generation of second second of generation of the Lord, 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I decree and declare if there is anyone here having visitations of spirits coming to you in the night, molesting you, whether as animals, as humans, male or female, I declare right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I decree and declare, let that fire separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Separate you and them right now. Lift your hands and pray. I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part of. If there be any seed of Belial, any seed kapatata, of the prince of darkness in your lineage, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of Jeshurun oh, and I decree and declare, let fire land on that lineage today. Yeah. Lift your hands. Was he praying? The altars of impotency, the altars of barrenness, the altars, just keep your hands lifted, of poverty, the altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage, in many lineages represented here. Right now, I decree and declare. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Amen. Let the fire fall and destroy them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray. Dangerous prayer. Apostle James said that when you want a body to stop functioning remove the spirit in the body these entities are combinations of spirits and bodies there is a strategy for stopping their function I decree and declare in the name that is above all names that if there is any of those entities please listen I'm praying now I'm seeing fire falling on people that if there is any entity whether in our villages or our homes that is not a pure human sent by darkness right now I cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies Amen. I cause a separation between Amen. their spirits and bodies I command the earth to open and swallow them Amen. I command the earth to open and swallow Amen. them I command the earth to open and swallow Amen. them hey. Lift your hands let me pray for you if there is anything that your family should have handled today I don't care whether it's position of influence there are some of you where you are with your love for God you should not be at that level now yes, but there is something programming your remaining there can I prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody in the name of Jesus tonight by this grace and unction i declare to you every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. therefore i prophesy to you 
beginning from tonight rise to a level you have never seen rise to a new dimension of influence rise to a new dimension of power hallelujah can i prophesy over your finances yes, sir. do you believe it <laughs> the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established he said believe in his prophets don't mind this our arrogant generation that would not listen to the word are we together let me tell you something there is something called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god in the name of jesus i speak to you by this time tomorrow i'm saying it if you have the faith to receive i stand in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god by this time tomorrow may my god surprise you by this time tomorrow i prophesy to you i shift things i shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit i command strangers i seize their sleep may they bless you i instruct them i set it as an ordinance in the spirit in the name of jesus christ it's not by might it's not by power it's by the spirit listen you will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow some of you you will be minding yourself after the grace just walking home and before you reach home you are already crying for joy and saying what is this what is this listen if you can receive for your family i stretch my hands some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day but may my god give them a sign tonight may my god surprise them with a sign tonight a sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow may my god give them a sign tonight listen listen let me tell you something we're rounding up you see before you believe a man go and find out his track record don't just believe foolishly ask questions this person talking like this as he said it before and what happened the bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers it's not pride it's the truth this seven days was designed to change us listen tomorrow i'm going to give you some instructions huh by friday you are going to carry your documents and the rest and come with it let me see the devil let me see the principality except it is not god that ordained this ministry you will see what my god will do there must come a time in your life where god will shift you if you don't shift it's your fault oh, let me tell you this hallelujah i'm praying over finances we're rounding up already i i didn't plan to talk about this but the lord just put it in my spirit it's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you're doing please it's, it's not it's not a ritual we're not playing games here but i want to pray for people who can believe this man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of god the bible says let every man minister according to the measure of grace do you understand i can look at someone and say take 10 naira from my pocket this is me a man talk more the god of heaven but he's helpless until someone declares please just believe me once i beg you in the name of jesus this night just be you can insult me if it doesn't happen but just believe i want to pray again for your finances in the name of jesus christ i pray and i ask my god 
the God who has taken me by his grace the God who took this ministry by his grace I stand before his altar and I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate of strange favor over your life I program a climate don't ask where it will come from you will not see the wind you will not see rain but I program a climate of strange favor over your life if there is anything anyone has stolen from you i'm prophesying some of you will go back home and find it there nobody brought it in the name of jesus you will go back home and find it waiting for you here in the name of jesus christ we're rounding up father bless your people tonight in the name of jesus please don't fail to testify your testimonies will build the faith of others in the name of jesus christ now please just just a little announcement and we share the grace don't come alone everywhere is already filled we're even praying that god will grant us grace but this is not just there are some of you as i'm praying you know people who are struggling this is not just about finances god has opened a portal over the land to bring people into an experience don't be selfish this is not about ministry this is not a koinonia thing god is opening an opportunity for people to pray that's number one number two when you go back home don't just roam around till evening then you carry your bible and come this mystery pray it you will wake up tomorrow and share with your friends the kind of dreams and encounters you will have tonight some of you will have dreams where you will see individuals waving you and saying this is it it's over and you will wake up and see your life change hallelujah it's a ministry of signs and wonders i bless you in the name of jesus may the lord increase and multiply you in the name of jesus for those worshiping with us for the first time we really love you we are just trying to work with time maybe on tuesday or wednesday we'll take our time to honor you in the name of jesus let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.